There are lots of third-party tools you can integrate with when you're using user testing. Today, we're gonna to be talking about our integration with Quantum Metric. You can find the integrations on the integrations tab of the settings screen. The settings screen can be found just under your initials in the upper right here, you see settings. So when you get to the integration screen for Quantum Metric, we're gonna scroll all the way to the bottom. You can see it currently says disable for account because it's already been enabled. Now, you need to have an account on both user testing and quantum metric so that you can have access to both platforms and experience both types of feedback or output that the integration takes advantage of. So I'm gonna switch over now to my dashboard, which is an actual study that I've run. You can see here, I've got two videos that have come back. This was an invite network study. That's why you're only seeing email addresses and you're not seeing the screen name and demographics and, and the ability to rate the participants. But you can also see here under the playback options, we have this new option for watch on quantum metric. Now we all know that when I click this play button, I'm gonna see someone doing a customer experience narrative of a journey through a website. Now in this case, they're going through a website trying to buy some fresh strawberries. Now in this video, I get a lot of description and emotion and sentiment about the experience and what is going on. Now, there is a negative experience. And so let's just say for the sake of argument that I don't know what the negative experience is because I'm just coming to this fresh and I want to see, okay, there's negative experiences here. Let me go over to quantum metric to see not only what those actual negative interactions are, but how often they happen and how valuable they are to my business. So I click on watch on quantum metric. I already know because I've seen the video that the issue was something with the availability of the product. Now, just like user testing, you can see there's a playback window here. We've got some little markers here that talk about key activities, very much like user testing has. The tasks are here. And we can also see a little bit of, you know, sort of what's going on and the number of interactions in the, um, as the person moves through the experience. You can see it says movement. This blue is all about movement with mouse, et cetera. So when I, but I see these little red dots and I can actually see, okay, there's a search empty error happening on here. I also see a bunch of other things here that say no results, things like that. But search empty error is a, the red error. Um, I come down over here, I see a bunch of other options, little things are happening. But then I come down to the end and you'll notice, let me get rid of this quantum metric thing. You'll notice that I see here, when I come down, it says I'm on the product details page. There's a bunch of things there, but then it says this little red error, PDP OOS. Now, if you if this was your site, you would realize, you know, that's the product details page out of stock error. So if I just click just before this and I click on the play button, we can actually see, remember, we I see the mouse moving, but I don't hear anything. This is not a customer experience narrative. It's really merely a session replay. And so I see the mouse, it's highlighting that this product is out of stock. And so if I wanted to, I could use the other tools over here on the quantum metric side, and I could navigate to the error for out of stock, and I could see how often does it occur, how often, um, how much is it worth, and really what is the value of me fixing this interaction, like adding relevant products to substitute when something's out of stock. Now, you'll notice a lot of the key activities are here, the actions. If I start looking at the top though, from the overarching 22 action screen, I can scroll down and right in here, nested in here, I see here is the user testing link. So if I was using quantum metric from the quantum metric side and I started here and I said, oh, uh, there's an out of stock situation. How did this particular customer feel about that? And what did they say? What were their hopes when they saw this? What did they wish happened? All I have to do is click on the user testing link and it takes me right into the video. And so now I can navigate through the video, see what's going on, see where the person had this negative experience. And when they encountered the no strawberries, the out of stock error, what did they say? So it's very simple, very straightforward to demonstrate how you bounce back and forth between quantum metric and user testing to showcase the way these two platforms complement each other. Um, if there's any other questions, you know, feel free to reach out.